morning, nice and fresh. We stent on this morning, and then we are to later on. Just pedaling, no numbers. Sometimes that's what it's all about. Just get out and pedal. And look at the power meter, the arm, and the heart rate monitor. Let's build up to the race at Lurgan this week. So we are trying to get the trend done. Hopefully we're doing it. We want to go in fresh, but we don't want any regrets. You start off on a Monday. Sometimes you get a wee bit lazy. You don't actually do that much, and then Thursday, Friday comes, and you start going. Ah, didn't actually do that much this week. What could I do? What could I do? And then you bulk by and bend yourself for a Sunday. So it is a case of trying to get it all right at the start of the week. I'm being happy, confident with what you've done. And in the case of going into the races, I'm saying, yep, I'm happy with what I've done. And yeah, it all goes pretty tall. I look back and say, right, what can I do more? Can I adjust it at the start of the week? Can I adjust the, the load in the middle of the week? Did I not recover in time? Or did I just not do enough? You have to be truthful yourself if you're not truthful. It's important you can train. Just go to the races and enjoy them. And then you have also the last minute prep. I'll do a wee video on the kit bag later on tonight. And I'll do a wee video on the van. Or what you should be packing in the car. I also seem to have done a bit of damage to the bike yesterday. Don't know whether that was the hill climbs or the hill climbs or what. But it's just walking a little bit under pressure here. Don't know whether it damaged the back wheel. Or tub or something so I'll have to get a wee look at that and the boys got stung yesterday it turns out that there was a beehive that we were riding over so uh a new training venue now which is gonna be some fun to try and find this year so I thought I'd run through kit bag main thing with a kit bag for cyclocross is two, two of everything, two uh, sets of kit, one for practice that you can expect to get completely soaking, wet, muddy and get back to the car and whatever you have, get changed and then get into uh, race kit which should be completely dry from head to toe, socks, vest, uh, gloves uh, and even if you have a second pair of shoes. So I'll just run through my kit bag. Here's a case. Um, some people want to see it go. Where are you going, mate? You going on your holiday? Uh, yeah, very good. Um, love the 97 Adidas bag. It's got handles on, it's got wheels. Mixed stuff for a wee bit easier. Um, I use this for the road season and the uh, second cross season. I'll just go through what I keep in it. Several different compartments on it. And in this one here. I'm going to keep all my oils and creams, chamois cream, warm up oil, Factor 50, and some beam spray as well, heart rate monitor, adapter for plugs if you ever go away, and keep all that sort of stuff in there, Garmin would go in there now and again, and the other tools in here as well, a bit of tape, because you always need a bit of black tape, never know what comes in handy. And it tends to get a bit of rubbish in there as well. This one is where I get my helmet and glasses. This usually stays in a bag. Also have a hat in here, a cap stay in here. And I should have yellow lenses in here somewhere. So these are my yellow lenses. And I have had fake ones in the past, but they just don't work. They give you sore eyes and a sore head, so try to avoid them by real lenses. Under the main compartment here. So the main thing is a towel, you bring it to every race, whether it's warm, sunny or not. Face cloth, wash the muck down or wash the salt, depending on if it's warm. And then I'll start with the upper body. I have two choices of vests, like a lighter one, and sort of more heavy duty one. I also have a gabba that stays in the bag for the wet conditions, and I also a gila. I'm using Bond Trigger and Bioracer stuff. Just find that they work really well, never any issues with them. Also have the long sleeve sort of top here with a like the uh, sleeves on it, which would be for like frosty conditions. If it was wet they'd probably go with our arms. Sort of more tempest top with a slight fleece inside inside to it. 
that's usually for warming up and stuff like that. Um, on the lower tights, it's a leg warmers, always come in handy. We also have race tights, which have a thinner chamois and a little bit tighter than normal tights. I have full tights as well with a full zip on them, which are pretty handy for start and then jumping off, um, taking off just on the start line. And then I tend to race more in skin, skin suits. Uh, but I race offer two different types. One with this uh, sort of dimple effect and like a wax material. It's pretty good, nice and warm for pet uh, conditions. Then they offer this one which is a lot thinner. has the arrow sleeves on and it's better for sort of drier conditions. Um, plenty of socks as well for them to the race coming home. You can never have too many socks. A couple of pairs of gloves, race gloves and thermal gloves. And a couple of hats. And hats for afterwards as well. Green cape for warm up. One of the most important things as well. Plastic bags. Put all your wet stuff in afterwards. If you want to go a bit pro, you can go for the mesh bags to get in the paint shop and throw your dirty wash in into them. And then tend to keep the shoes in the plastic bag as well so that they don't get muck and dirt all over the rest of the kit bag. Studs are in, so tend to keep them in all season. And I'll try and get a wee video on what else to bring the race in the farm.